Jesus Christ, that's lame as actually. He's such a soft little baby. I wouldn't care if he was this soft if he at least treated the people around him that way. I can't believe he expected Ethan to endure his fan base spam posting with him saying, I can't do anything, bro. And then he gets so mad over this sh You should call Hassan and apologize. Why is Hassan mad? What did I do? <laughs> oh no. His fan. What did I do? Are you worried about the radicalization of the online left right now? Yeah, I'll talk about all this political stuff when we come back. It is really worrying. It is like a, it is like a death cult, uh, like in the in the similar vein that the Republicans have become like a death cult over the vaccine stuff. The idea that people are cheering on, uh, oh, shit, I've seen a video for that. I'm sorry. The idea that um, the idea that leftists are like cheering on the crazy dude for the self immolation is insane is unhinged like the guy was clearly unwell and if he wasn't mentally unwell then he was just a moron like they're also green lighting terrorist attacks on twitter i'm hoping this is just like a minority opinion maybe but like this is unhinged reminder that plane hijackings used to be perfectly normal and were mostly non-violent 9-11 was an outlier in the first of its kind what the f yeah there are other tw what was the one tweet that i responded to You can't protest peacefully, you can't boycott, you can't hunger strike, you can't hijack planes, you can't block traffic, you can't throw Molotovs, you can't self-immolate, you can't heckle politicians, you can't march, you can't write, you can't dissent, you ca just can't be. That's it, they're also getting tarred and feathered hard in the replies. No one agrees with them. The guy with the 15,000 likes on his tweet? Okay. Talk about this. As a streamer myself for almost six years now, on how hard it really is. <laughs> no, I'm actually, I'm, I'm kidding. I'm kidding. I would look. I, I just. Oh God. Oh God. It's just like, what's funny is you haven't even addressed this again since then. I know. It's just an opportunity for every single person to be like, look, guys, I'm a content creator. I'm. Wait, did I miss something, or what did he say? Talk about this. As a streamer myself for almost six years now, on how hard it really is. <laughs> I'm actually, I'm, I'm kidding. I'm kidding. I would look. I, I just. Oh, it's never mind. I, I was fixing around oh, the wrong thing. I got it. Okay. Wait. Oh. That. Wait. This is what he's. <laughs> wait. I. Uh, okay. I. Okay. I, I thought there was something like more insidious in here. I got it. Oh God. It's just like. What's funny? <laughs> wait. How long is he about to go mauled over this comment? Wait. What? You haven't even addressed this again since then? I know. It's just an opportunity for every single person to be like, look, guys, I'm a content creator. I'm really privileged. Like, yeah, dog, we all we all are. We all talk about it all the time. It just annoys me because, like, it's such a fake thing to do. It's just literally using someone who you're friends with, like being maliciously clipped out of context to be like, I'm actually one of the good content creators. I know how privileged I am. It's like, yeah, I do too. That's so fucking dumb. Oh my god. Like, ay ay ay. ay. It's like no different than what Muda did. He showed the context though. It doesn't fucking matter that he showed the context. It's just a way to just literally farm off the fucking drama. Eh, whatever. Fuck it. Who gives a shit? Just I don't give a shit about this conversation. Frankly, yeah, no, I, no video for Nick Marks from Ludwig, uh, you know, because eh. I think it's dumb. Okay. Dream of these people have to deal with the law. <sighs> Can I just say also just real quick, Hassan is expecting, right? He has the expectation that these guys are going to throw out a life raft for him when he's committing optic suicide. Okay. That these guys are going to stake their reputation on throwing a life raft out of him when he sat there and he basically ridiculed Ethan for being upset that his entire, that Hassan's entire fan base was calling him basically a Nazi. With Hassan being like, well, I don't know what I can do. I don't know what I can do. I don't know. I can't do anything about that. And now he's over here rolling around like a baby who shit his diaper twice with nobody to change it, crying that all of these other streamers aren't throwing out life rafts to help Hassan because he can't control himself for more than two weeks without saying something else retarded jesus 
it's like it's odd that I have to just like sit here and be like, yeah, that's right, dude. Yeah, wag your f***ing finger at me, like you know. Ludwig deleted the video. Did he actually? Oh, then Ludwig is even a bigger pussy than Hassan. What the f***? What I mean? Yeah. Where is the meme? I need to. Where is the meme? I've gotten numb to the criticism. Like it's not. It's I. As a matter of fact, I seek it out now because I make content out of it. I think it's funny. It's fun. My God, the way that he talk. <clears throat> Sorry. The way that he talks in this interview is so f funny and epic. The way that he talks about how he seeks out criticism because <laughs> it's funny i seek it out i make content out of it <laughs> like bro oh my god how long have you been living in california dude jesus it's just you're right a, a communist hypocrite uh ay, ay, ay. this bums me out more honestly than than random dumb f uh online that are just saying a whole bunch of shit about my family or whatever you know what I mean? I said this already. The shit from the shit from Twitter doesn't do anything. It's not real. It's like mostly fucking bot farmed into oblivion and it's like a right wing shithole. It's when content creators who are liberal or have like a larger, broader audience, like an audience of real people, when they frame it in the same way that they see it off of Twitter, that is fucking that that actually does lead to real world shit. Wait, what? But I said this already. The shit from the shit from Twitter doesn't do anything. It's not real. It's like mostly fucking bot farmed into oblivion, and it's like a right wing shithole. It's when content creators who are liberal or have like a larger, broader audience, like are not. It, is that Ludwig? Content creators that are liberal. <laughs> How many of the people roasting Hassan right now are even political comment create or uh, political content creators? What does politics have to do with any of the stuff that's going on over the past few days for these stupid Hassan clips? Is it are liberals like the boogeyman now? Like even normal people, you're in traffic and some guy like swerves in and out. You're like liberals. Like what? These are real people when they frame it in the same way that they see it off of Twitter. That is. That that actually does lead to real world sh want, but but that is the reality, okay. And I'm not trying to f woe is me for somebody making 50k playing video games, but it does get even worse for some streamers. Specifically today, it got a whole lot worse for a lot of streamers because they woke up and the website that they used to stream on, that they built their career on, that they made their community in, is gone. And that's what I actually want to talk about here today, which is the Twitch shutdown in Korea. That's so whack. Oh my god. You didn't know that shutdown officially happens literally right now. February 27th Korea time. It's February 26th America time. And that's that's how time zones work. It is officially shut down. Why? It's Dude, come on, bro. Don't farm me like that. Jesus Christ. That's lame as f actually. He's such a soft little baby bitch, dude. Oh my god. I wouldn't care if he was just soft, if he at least treated the people around him that way. I can't believe he expected Ethan to endure his f***ing fan base, spam posting, Ela murdering Palestinian baby cartoons across seven different anti-fan subreddits with him saying, I can't do anything, bro. And then he gets so mad over this shit. Like, I thought he was at least gonna, oh uh, yeah, uh, for a good cause at least. Yeah, dude, uh, he's a great cause. He Francoed you? No, Philip DeFranco at least did an honest, like, like, he, he did the, what do you guys think, at the end of it, but at least he did a fucking honest, uh, like, he showed that it was, like, out of context, and it's bullshit, like, uh, for the most part. Not By you. the way, I'm not even defending the, f I'm not even, like, I'm just tell. I'm just trying to tell you guys how it feels, and I'm fucking shocked that you don't care that people in your chat are saying who the f this child cold Ethan, arrogant Ethan, as fuck. i love you He's but there's but Aren't there's only so much i can do how can you be surprised when your discord is literally full of Ethan? Freaks, i love you but there's only so much i can do if you're making that argument you know that right like at a certain point you're an adult and the words that you're saying are going to be perceived by people in a certain way i can't constantly tell my community to shut the 
up, like well, which I have, listen, and I think I they a, should. But in, at the end of the day, it's because I know you personally, and I think your heart is in the right place. But they don't know, so it's hard. It's hard for people to to view what you're saying you know, beyond. Just, this is after weeks. I'm pretty sure this is either after a week or weeks of his fan base. Like there's like four anti fan subs. It's like H3 H3 underscore productions. There's the H3 snark. There were like three or four anti fan subs that were running. Not to mention the just the original. Um, the, the, like the actual H3H3 H3 sub was getting f the actual H3H3 productions, not the H3H3 H3 underscore productions one was getting fucked. Like he was, in, Ethan was enduring so much insane shit over, over really nothing, right? Like Ethan has the most milk toast takes. It's like, yeah, Palestinian people dying are tragic and yeah, Israeli people dying are tragic. And people are like, what? Why are you a fucking Nazi? You fucking rat Jew. What the fuck? And it sounds like, bro, you kind of sound like a rat Jew. <laughs> Telling you that. Some of these coming from Hassan's own mods. Perspective. You disagree. That's it. I mean, what okay. the fuck do you want from me? Okay, but do you, but do you get do you get where I'm coming from? Also, you know what? I have the reputation as being a bridge burner. These between Hassan and Vosh, these motherfuckers have burned down like more important connections and shit over the past year than I have in like fucking ten years. Okay, these guys like my bridge burnings and shit are usually like random crazy you know smaller streamers or like bad bunny and shit like that hassan lost a podcast with one of the largest podcast people on the internet vosh has literally alienated himself from the entire world how the fuck am i the one with the bridge burning reputation <laughs> what the fuck he, he threw me to the flames posted a fucking twitter uh a, a fake tweet said that you know we are so privileged actually which he's right we are Something that I also agree with. That's a good meme. He just said it was out of context. Farm me regardless. Moved on to be like, look how nice I am. Um, and then and then flipped it over to something entirely different and sold a rocket mortgage ad in the process. What do you think of Asmus? I didn't even watch it. Uh, I I I didn't watch any of it. It's it's irrelevant. It's gonna be go away in like two days and people like only the dumbest losers of all time will constantly be like oh are you having a hard time at your job over and over again don't make him responsible for an already trending subject it's kind of lame i'm gonna be honest because every new video that gets uploaded like this feeds into it over and over again and if you're gonna fucking talk about it the least you could do is like you know be like this is ridiculous yeah same goes for all the Oh, I'm so privileged, ooh, ooh uh, streamers too, because we are, and I do talk about that. Of all the trend setting you've done as a streamer since 2011, Burning Bridges is the only one you're given credit for. True. Yeah. It's really crazy. Every time this happens to other streamers, you are the first to stand up for them. When it comes to you, people just farm and kick your back in. You go out of your way. It doesn't matter. Uh, who cares? All right. That'll be all for tonight, ladies and gentlemen. It's extra funny because Ludd and I did a roundtable for Anthony Padilla's new show where we talked about how we think streamers are out of touch and how privileged and lucky we are for like two hours only two weeks ago. Hasn't been released yet. Would have been nice for him to be like, hey guys, by the way, Hassan is my friend. Obviously, he doesn't think streaming is the most difficult job in the world. a lot in your fucking chat like whenever your chat was like calling me out or whatever and i talked about this even before like the tier list drama or whatever which i don't really give a shit about the tier list in that circumstance but i had talked a week prior oh, i remember this this was when Hassan was mad because <laughs> xqc did he put him on the same tier as me or did he put him one tier lower oh my god Bro, when Hassan saw that, it was over. Tier list, there was like a one week period on Twitch where like tier list were like the biggest drama instigators. As in his B. I like Hassan a lot. He doesn't play a lot of games, so it, it cuts his versatility a little bit. I think he's not as outgoing enough for fucking collabs to it. It could be more fun. It could be, that could be a good thing though. Depend, depends. This could go both ways. Opinion based. That is pretty good. Guys, you know what? Guys, I'm not, I, I, I kind of hate Destiny. I'm not, I'm not a fanboy. I, I, don't, I personally dislike him. Okay, but I, I, I hate to say it, guys, he's a high A. He, he, He's given up, I think, over the years.
Uh, and to the point where um, being a riot is more important than anything. But I think in terms of, of, of uh, actual content, um, he can dish out some content that literally nobody else can. I, I think he extracts the type of content that literally nobody's explored uh, um, in the past. He does really good with it. But he doesn't do it a lot because he wants to play League and go AFK in his brain. Which is kind of boring, but it is what it is. <laughs> it's not even like, there's not even much to cover. I'm just not even sure. The, um... He was so mad. The problem is that he got ranked lower than me. That was the issue. Because if I would have ranked in the same tier or less, then he probably would have just said, oh, XQC doesn't like political streamers or whatever. Like, um, But yeah, I can't believe he's such a baby. God, it's so pathetic. I spent all this time grinding and trying to be positive, so everyone is against every action I make. I can't believe people are still so invested in making giant fucking paragraphs with streamers crying over nothing, only for a lot of me saying, Obama. Ha ha ha, good one. They literally just deleted that LSF thread. Wait, where was it? What LSF thread? They're still protecting Hassan? I thought they were gonna stop doing that. Bro, f this subreddit. Oh, Hassan mauling over XQC's recent streamer tier list. Been a good person to me and I don't care. Also, Asmin farmed the Johnny to trial harder, get f Holy shit! He's Am sad. I actually mad? No, I don't think XC would have zero patience from anybody that babies him if he wasn't a 60 candy. <laughs> Absolutely. Oh my God! My man, I don't care about his stupid arbitrary metric for who he thinks is the best at streaming. He's hitting 60k, so he had to spice up the meta a bit on LSF. Yes, I famously didn't consistently call him out multiple times throughout the entire process. That's right. Bro, this XT is so addicted. Small B narrative is going to make me video game myself. Excuse oh, he's trying to figure out why Hassan wasn't mad last time, but it's because he rated me as a C and Hassan as a B. <laughs> of all f***ing time. After that, there's clips of it. When mentioning Moon Moon and NMP LOL, Asmongold, and all these other content creators actually, you know, whipping their communities when their chat is going fucking absolutely bananas over random dumb shit. And, and bringing my name up for no fucking reason. And I thought that for the past year, I thought for the past year, uh, especially since like the gambling debate that we had, you, me, excuse, uh, you, me, Trainwrecks, and Ethan, that you were just allowing that shit to run rampant in your chat. And I thought that was fucked up, especially as uh, someone who thought we were fucking friends. Yeah. I think that's a reasonable expectation for someone who you consider to be a friend. Fair that enough. was building yeah. a lot in your fucking chat. Like... Two more. Wow, food of balls. Thanks for tier five server, buddy. Kid, I want to start up about a fucking interest. Oh, no. Listen, see, streaming. Hardest job in the world. Harder than what I'm doing a coal mine. See all the people in coal mines right now across the world? Fuck them! Kid, I want to stir up a bit of fucking... In At all. You should call Hassan and apologize? Why is Hassan mad? What did I do? <laughs> oh no. <laughs> fucking fan. What did I do? Because my mogul mail? I feel like everything I said was fine. Am I crazy? He's mad about the Dubai trip? Hassan raided him and his chat was spamming about it. He said, call Hassan, he's crying unironically. <laughs> oh, well, I mean, shit, that's the deal. I'll just fucking pull him out of the thumbnail and then I feel like it doesn't really matter much, right? I can just pull them out. I feel like that's... Because I feel like outside the thumbnail, you can't really make that argument much. Here, check it out. Boom. <laughs> that's a, that's a, hey, that's a change on the fly, baby. <laughs> Me and C Dog VA.
<laughs> That's a funny picture. That's a funny picture along with that title. But I don't think the content of what I said is uh, something I wouldn't say in public or to him personally. Unless that's a problem. But look, I'm going to deal with this off stream. I don't need to deal with this right now. Why is Sea Dog so short? It's because my boots make me four inches taller. Connor, thank you for the 20 gifted. Thanks, Connor. Bowers, thank you for the 26 months. Um, Small is currently digging. Okay, okay do, but guys, I'm trying to talk about unpaid intern. What are we doing here? <laughs> What's going on? Jesus. You respond to four thoughts of dog shit posts. Uh, what is four thoughts post? Seems recently you've been kind of blowing up. Example of the Pierce Morgan thing. Do you think it's the Israel Palestine stuff? Were you blowing up before? Um, no, I think it was before. The Israel Palestine stuff has probably actually slowed down my ability to capitalize off the recent stuff, but we'll be okay when I come back. I wanted to do this. What, um, there is no, where's the forethought post? Huh. Idolization of Aaron Bushnell by leftists is totally expected and is completely acceptable. There is no evidence for having mental illness. He wanted his suicide to be as visible as possible, which is why he live streamed it explicitly and repeatedly stated the cause that it was for. Irrational extreme action are not mutually exclusive. This is not new. Do not fucking sword point to, oh my god, he was in Bad Bunny's chat, as if being in anyone's Twitch chat, podcast, or Patreon exclusive Discord will give you the desire to self immolate. And say he was an idiot, but I'm trying to take away this man's agency over the most trivial and frivolous shit. His suicide was an explicitly political statement. Expecting people that share his beliefs to not valorize him for the most extreme acts of peaceful protest a human being can commit is beyond idiotic. I'm not wasting time arguing over his mental state unless you have evidence and no saying so far as I have. Wait, what is any part of this satire? Or I can't tell my just The idolization of Aaron Bushnell by leftists is totally expected and is completely acceptable. Do we think it's, is it acceptable to idolize somebody who commits suicide for a political cause? Is that, when we, mean, when we say acceptable, what do we mean there, I guess? I mean, like, it's technically, it's your life. I mean, if you really want to kill yourself, it's fine, I guess. But is it terrorism, though? No, it's not terrorism. I feel like it would be good for the, I want to quote tweet this, this one. It's funny to see how this one act of protest has caused all the most useless and cowardly people to writhe around in fits of obvious discomfort, desperately trying to minimize or otherwise shit on it. So I want to do like the thing and like me when I writhe around in obvious discomfort and then it's the guy rolling around. That's what I need. I need that clip. It would be perfect, please. He doesn't roll around, he just kind of falls. I think after they put him out with a fire extinguisher, doesn't he roll around a little bit? Listen, uh, as a quick thing, these people deserve to be bullied, okay? You should not encourage people to set themselves on fire for shit like this. It's unhinged and it's retarded, okay? 
This is not a noble thing. It's not a good thing. It's stupid. Why would you fucking do this? The reason why people do insane protests like this, where you set yourself on fire, where you do hunger strikes or whatever, is because you literally have no other avenue to communicate your voice. There's either suppression of the media, or you don't, or you live in a dictatorship, or you're locked in prison under lock and key, and you've got no way to communicate. This is when people resort to these measures, because there's no other way to make their voices heard. Self-immolating in a democracy is the most retarded fucking thing you can do. It's like starving to death in a Baskin Robbins. What the f wrong with you go vote go on social media there's a billion other things you can do to make your voice heard literally nothing will change because this guy killed himself other than there's one less retarded fucking voter in the world like that's it he's removed himself from the voting pool if anything if anything the only thing he managed to do by setting himself on fire is hurt his cause by one vote it's fucking retarded don't encourage people to do shit like this it's stupid do you not feel like the news story would net him more than one voter at least is anybody changing their mind is anybody seeing this like man i kind of thought israel was in the moral right to defend themselves from Hamas, but when that retarded 25-year-old Reddit anarchy poster set himself on fire screaming in that lively Twitter video, I'm kind of I'm kind of feeling differently about it now. Like, wow. Maybe Israel should stop. Yeah. Yeah. That's what I believe. Also, don't you dare say rest in power. That's for black people only. <laughs> He was black, okay, true.